Hi, I'm Mike Tolalia with the IADC eNews from drillingcontractor.org and Drilling Contractor Magazine. We're here in Stevens County, Texas to talk with Ray Brazell. He's president of Bandera Drilling and a longtime IADC stalwart. Uh, Bandera Drilling has recently fielded a very unique rig that can drill uh, from 5,000 to 15,000 feet with a pretty small footprint. And we're going to talk to Ray about the, the rig and its development. So Ray, thanks a lot for your time today. Really appreciate it. And it's a pretty neat rig. Can you tell me about some of the very unique features you've got? Okay. I think one of the uh, most unique things is the fact that we can make trips and make connections with no one on the rig floor, no one in the dairy. Uh, all faces of the rig are operated from from a uh, driller's cabin, and some of some of the um, the the neatest things using the iron derrick man, using the iron floor hand, and the fact that we don't have anyone in the derrick on any of our rigs. So that has some major HSE factors. One of, one of our goals when when we sold our rigs in 06 and started building new ones, one of our goals was to get the employees out of harm's way. On the little doubles we built, we were able to get them out of the derrick. Then, obviously, it became our goal to get them off the rig floor. So by designing and building these rigs, uh, we, we managed to do that, get them out of the derrick and off the rig floor. You also mentioned uh, earlier when we were talking that uh, you have a pretty unique ability to operate the rig from below the rig floor, actually. What is the deal with that? Oh, we, we have an auxiliary uh, control that uh, operates down close to where the VOP is being nippled up. So you're able to nipple up the VOP right beside the hands that are actually doing the work and you can run the rig from a ground level platform. You can also use that when you're slipping and cutting a drilling line so you're right by the drum when, when you're slipping and cutting a drilling line. You don't need a flagger or anyone else to give you directions because you can see what's going on. And a much smaller uh, footprint too, environmentally speaking, you know, for rig its, of its capability. The, the footprint's actually about the same as what our doubles rig up on. So yeah, where you would normally rig up a four to six thousand foot rig, this rig is capable of drilling 15,000 feet. We can rig up on the same location. Cool. So the driver was uh, primarily HSE related, health, safety, environment. We know we've had a long history of doing real good in that. Uh, can you give us a little history about the development of the uh, of this new triples rig, Rig 9? We, st we started, uh, we, ha we had some ideas about it prior to 2006. Of course, with the sale of the rigs, that allowed us the flexibility to go do some new stuff. And we immediately started talking to people about building a new concept of rig, one that uh, got people out of harm's way. So the more we talked, we found the Iron Dirk Man put in on the doubles, and then we just we started designing a new derrick, new sub, everything everything built with it in mind that we're going to make connections and make trips with nobody on the rig floor and nobody in the derrick. So it's not the best of markets right now, of course. But do you have plans for more rigs? What's going we're, on in your yard? We're we're building the the uh, mate to this rig here uh, as we speak. We already have most of the parts already built and hopefully we'll have it out uh, depending on market conditions before the end of the year and I would hope with, if the market picks up we can build some more. Absolutely. Well thanks again for your time Ray, really appreciate it. It's a fascinating rig and thanks a lot to you. Again, Mike Kilalea, uh, E! News from DrillingContractor.org, IADC and Drilling Contractor. We'll have a full report on uh, Bandera's new rig 9 in the September-October 2009 edition of IDC's official magazine, Drill and Contractor. Thanks again.